incredible but tough week in Mongolia. Um, we've had a lot of car issues, I think probably more than our fair share compared to other competitors. So, you know, we've seen a lot of other much more serious... Oh, that was the um, window roller that you just heard chink fall off the door. Um, some examples, probably the, the hardest challenge was fixing the gear linkage which broke. Um, but we've also had lots of suspension problems, shock absorbers being blown, and um, the cable throttle went for the accelerator pedal didn't work. This morning we had um, a cloud of steam rise out of the bonnet, which was a split pipe. Uh, we've also had uh, no brakes at all yesterday. We were driving for 40 kilometers without brakes and lots of flat tires, which we realized was down to actually a faulty pressure gauge. So lots of um, problems which has definitely impacted the race. When China was running well, we were in the lead, which was so exciting. We were in the lead of the vintage class um, for a couple of days and that was great. But of course when the car was damaged, we lost our lead. We went down to sixth place. Um, we've now risen to fourth, which is cheering. And we hope that we're still on the rise. So this morning, crossed into Russia, which actually was an incredibly efficient process. I think probably exiting Mongolia was a bit tougher, but um, getting into Russia was wonderfully efficient, and it's beautiful here. It's um, really monumental mountains covered in snow, lots of lush valleys, crystal clear rivers running on my left, but it's great to be in, in eastern Russia, really. We've just learned some incredible statistics, like a quarter of the world's forests are in Siberia, which, which you can kind of believe actually driving through this beautiful landscape.